In Excel, you can use conditional formatting to highlight specific cells. In this example, we want to find duplicate rows. There's a built-in feature that will let you find duplicate values in one column, but there's nothing built-in that will check a whole row and compare it with other rows. So in this table, we have these two rows that are the same. We'd like conditional formatting to highlight those rows so they stand out. Then we can decide whether to delete one or just leave things as is. To create the conditional formatting, we're first going to add a column in this worksheet that will pull all of the data into one cell. So I'll put a heading here called all data and in the cell below I'm going to use the concatenate function to combine all this data in this cell. So starting with an equal sign concatenate open bracket and then I'm going to click on each cell and follow that with a comma. So a2 comma b2 c2 d2 E2, F2, and a closing bracket, press enter, and there's the entire string of what's in this row. Now it doesn't look pretty. It's pulled all the data together and that's what I need. So I'll point to the fill handle at the bottom right of this selected cell, double click, and that fills the formula down. Now I can check this column for duplicates. And to test the formula on the worksheet before we go into conditional formatting, I'll click in cell J2, I'm going to use the count if function, which will look in a range for a specific value. So in this cell, equals count if open bracket. First, we'll tell it where to look for the value. We want it to check through this list of data. Right now, the range is G2 to G8. But if I copy that down in the next row, it would change to G3 to G9. It's going to adjust as we copy down. We don't want that to happen. We always want it to look in this range. So I'll click in the G2, press F4, click in the G8, press F4. That locks that range. So this is not going to change. It's always going to look here for the data, comma. And what we want it to look for is the value in this row. So we're in row two, so G2. Close that bracket. So it's going to look within this range and count how many times G2 occurs. So we'll press enter. And we can see that that one's in there twice. I'll drag this down. We can see all the others are one, but there's that duplicate row. So each of these is a duplicate record. So we're going to use that. And what we want to check for, each item should appear once if we count it. If it's more than one, we know it's a duplicate. The cells where I want the formatting to appear are these ones at the left, so I'll select from A2 down to F8. And then on the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting. None of these built-in rules have what we need, so we'll create a new rule, and we'll use a formula like we did on the worksheet. Here, we're going to put in the formula equals count if, open bracket. We want it to count in these cells, and when you're in conditional formatting, it automatically creates absolute references, unlike the worksheet where we had to create them ourselves. So it's going to stick with G2 to G8, comma, and in this row, we want it to check G2. Now again, it's created an absolute reference. We want the row to change as we copy down. So I'm going to take out the dollar sign. I'm going to tell it check G2 to G8, and check column G in this row. And then I'm going to close the bracket. We want it to format any row where there's more than one. So we'll do a greater than one. So it's going to count the compiled cells, looking for the current rows data. And if it's greater than one, we're going to format that cell. So click the format button and click whatever color you'd like to highlight those rows. Click OK and OK. And now we can see that those two rows where we had our two are highlighted. So this formula is working and we can delete this row where we've tested our formula and we can hide this column where all the data is combined. And now the duplicate records are highlighted. That messy looking column is hidden. It's doing its work, but we don't need to see it on the worksheet. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.